at the dining table or in front of the TV. A new survey by KidSpot has found that TV dinners are more the norm for more than a third of Aussie families. And it has prompted our daily dilemma today. TV dinners, are they really bad for your family? Margaret Rafferty from KidSpot joins us now on the panel. We know we shouldn't do it, yeah. but it's just so easy. Mm. Is it really as bad for us as we think? Uh, unfortunately, it is. It is. Oh. I'm really sorry to say it because it is convenient in many families to sit down and just have that distraction and a bit of quiet mm. time and just get the dinner in and not have the arguments. But there's so many reasons why it's better to sit around the table together as a family. It's uh, been shown to prevent childhood obesity, wow. it's been shown to reduce the chances of adolescent depression, it's a great vocab builder for uh, younger kids, it helps improve academic performance. There's um, so many reasons mm. why eating together as a family is good for you, but as our survey showed, 38% of families regularly eat in front of the TV. Mm. What about mother's sanity? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is a, a, that is a big question. Yeah. In the groups who were eating in front of the TV, often it was because they were just just wanted to get food mm. into the kids mm. and, and out of the way and get them off to bed yeah. as quickly as possible. They tended to be working families who were smaller. Then there were families like mine where the kids are older and there's some at uni one night and some with mm. a part-time job and someone's got orchestra mm. rehearsal and someone's got soccer training or whatever. And so we're not often all together at home mm. at dinner time so we can eat together. Um, well, you've got to cut parents a bit of slack, you know. Some you nights do. you think, you know, I'm not sure yeah. if I really am going to yeah. lie. But the, the interesting thing is it's not actually necessarily just the, uh, the, the sitting down and eating together at the table. It's all the other incidental things that, mm. that come to that. So things like builds the kids' vocabulary because everyone's sitting around talking and we know the best thing for little kids is oh to my, hear... Oh, don't. Don't touch that. <laughs> don't hit your sister. No, pick up your food. Don't leave the table. No, you've got to eat that. <laughs> I mean, I think we do have to... Give well, parents yeah, that, a bit of... Yeah. Well, that's really, right, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, if you're talking to your kids heaps anyway, it? then yeah. it shouldn't matter so much if yeah. you miss the odd thing. Mm. Again, with the child obesity, it's because if you're sitting in front of the TV, you're not thinking about what you're eating, so you might what mow through a whole bunch more food mm. than you I, I otherwise just, would. I yeah. prepare most of the evening meals at our home. I, I want to hear Phil about this one. I might use the TV to young boys while I'm preparing the meal, yeah. but totally banned during the meal. Yeah. How do we feel about that? I think that's fine. That's I think great. Whatever you can do to get the, the peace and quiet you need to com finish mm. cooking dinner. Okay. But once once the meal is served, once the meal is served, TV goes off. I mean, it's a oh. black fan. What, 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 what if you're watching MasterChef and you don't know how to finish the recipe? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what I get? The show's not finished yet, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do live pours. But I actually do a little bit of bribery with, OK, then, if you're going to, we can finish your homework and you can have dinner mm. in front of telly. There you ah. go. You know, to have... A bit of balance, so at least maybe one or two nights a week we all sit together, but then other times. Mm. Yes. I think a bit of telly. I think all you're right. fairly typical, Jess. Mm. I think you're fairly typical. Phew. There is a bit of feedback <laughs> that's coming in on this daily dilemma. Let's take a look at that. We have this from Sandy Toes. We have dinner table most nights. Table dinner, I should say, most nights. Makes for conversation and catch ups on daily events. Plus, it's nice. Mm. There you go. I should say, quick, just quickly, there is an exception to the rule. It's OK to eat dinner in front of the television if you're having dinner between 8.30 and 11am. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Margaret Rafferty from kidspot.com.au. Thank you very much for joining us.